A lawn is the focal point of many gardens, but keeping it in shape and looking good can take time. Hugely popular in Europe, robotic lawnmowers are now catching on here in a big way. Robotic mowers work within the confines of a hidden boundary wire and cut the grass little and often, dropping the clippings down into the grass. The lawn always looks neat and tidy and the clippings feed the grass. They are powered by rechargeable lithium-ion batteries and are fully automatic, parking themselves to recharge. Robotic mowers free up time, are quiet and unobtrusive and emission-free, but they are expensive. Plus, they don't suit every design of garden, need an outside power source and careful installation. Lawns must also be kept clear of clutter, which could damage the mower, and edges and awkward corners where the mower can't reach will still need trimming manually. There's an extensive choice of models on the market, with prices starting at around £600 and going up to over £2,000. They come in sizes to suit anything from small lawns up to spaces of about 5,000 metres squared and can have a variety of features such as weather sensors, GPS navigation and smart connectivity. In this buyer's guide, we take you through the key points to consider when choosing a robotic mower. First, you need to ensure that your garden layout and lawn will suit a robot. Some mower models can tackle multiple areas, but different levels will require more than one charging station. Mowers can't jump. Very narrow passages can only be dealt with by certain models, and if you have slopes, check it can cope with a gradient. Finally, a bumpy or uneven lawn must be made even first, or the mower may cut the boundary wire where it's not flush to the ground. Correct installation is essential for success. Many models include installation by a dealer in the price or ask your local dealer to quote for the cost of installing it for you. They will take the time to assess your lawn, use a cable layer to lay the boundary wire for you, including taking around any obstacles such as trees, island beds and drain covers and show you how to program and operate the keypad. Even if your garden is small and simple, make sure you find the mower easy to program and to adjust the height of cut. Mowers that need setting up yourself come with clear instruction booklets and helpful videos are also available online, but these must be followed precisely for the mower to run correctly. The mower charges in a docking station and this needs to be sited in a level, shady spot with mains power close by. Most must also have a clear area all around them usually at least two metres in front and one metre to the sides, and all of this can considerably restrict where you place it. It may well not be in your ideal spot. Ensure you buy a mower large enough to cope with your lawn by checking the battery size, run time and charge time. Some models offer connectivity and this can make the mower easier to program. You can use a mobile device rather than bending down over the keyboard. It also gives you the ability to check your mower when you're away and to track it if it's stolen. And if you're not physically able to garden, it also puts you back in control. Check the security features suit your needs. Some simply require a pin code to start the mower, but others include lift sensors, an alarm and a GPS tracker. Finally, warranty is always important and these can vary considerably from two to five years. Once your mower has been installed, all you need to do is program it so that it cuts exactly how and when you need it. The height of cut can be set according to the growth rate of the grass. Sensors on the mower will prevent it bumping into things and you can then just sit back and watch it mow. It's still important to clean and check your mower regularly, turning it over and assessing the blades for damage and wear and tear. Press the stop button and turn the mower off by pressing the off button. Turn the mower upside down and clean the chassis and blades with a brush or a garden hose if they're very dirty. Check the blades can pivot freely and brush grass from the wheels and wipe the cover down. Replace worn or damaged blades for the best mowing results and low energy usage, making sure to change them all at the same time to ensure a balanced cut. It's also a good idea to have your mower serviced each year. Dealers can update software as well as clean and replace any worn parts, including batteries. Annual servicing costs are low, but check there's a dealer nearby. Once mowing is finished for the season, store your mower under cover for the winter. Good luck choosing your robotic mower. <laughs>